Hello, welcome to Abby Varieties TV. I'm Abby. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to turn your very ripe plantain into a healthy snack known as plantain balls or plantain puff puff. Let's get started, guys. First, we'll get half cup of milk into a bowl. Then we'll add half cup of sugar. This is just to proof our yeast because we're using dry yeast. Then we'll stir this together and give it a nice mix. And of course, we'll add in our dry yeast, which is one tablespoon of dry yeast. And then we'll mix this together. We'll mix it very well so the sugar can dissolve. And of course, we'll set this aside, we'll cover it and set this aside to proof for about 10 minutes and then we'll be back. So here we have a very ripe plantain, very, very ripe, super ripe plantain, guys. Then we cut this out like so. We peel it. Make sure you use a very, very ripe plantain, guys. And then we cut this into another bowl. We cut it with knife to make it easy to match together. And then we match it with a fork. You can also choose to blend this, but I like to have chunks of plantain in my puff puff or in my plantain balls so that's why I decided to match it instead of blending it so this are the you know, this is the consistency of the plantain match that you want Let's check our yeast. In 10 minutes. Look at that. Our yeast has really risen. It has proof. This shows that the yeast is very good. By the way, guys, we have two types of yeast. We have dry yeast and instant yeast. This is dry yeast. It's very important that you proof your dry yeast before using it. For instant yeast, you can use it just directly into your butter or whatever thing you want to use it for. So now we'll pour our yeast into the mashed plantain. We'll mix this together. We'll mix it very well. Now we'll save one and a half cup of plain flour into the bowl. Add half teaspoon of salt and half teaspoon of nutmeg, and then we sieve all of this into our plantain butter. And then we give this a very nice mix we mix this together properly till everything incorporates and now we would like to add more milk we're adding half cup of milk and then we mix this again So here is the consistency of what we are trying to achieve. This is the right consistency for your puff puff. So I would like to add Scott Bonnet pepper. I'm adding one diced Scott Bonnet pepper, 
just to you know give it a nice taste if you can skip this if you don't want but i like to have you know a, a spicy taste in my puff puff and we cover this and then we let it rest for about 30 minutes or an hour and then we'll be back now let's check our butter it's been 30 minutes oh look at that our butter has doubled in size so we have to stir this together just to remove the bubbles and then I would like to use a freezer bag to get this butter into the oil you could choose to use your hand or an ice cream scoop but I don't want my hands to get dirty or matchy so that's why I'm using the freezer bag Now we'll get a spoon and then we'll scoop this butter into our freezer bag like I'm doing. By the way, you could use any bag of your choice, any bag you have available. But make sure it's very clean. And now we're going to seal this together. We're going to seal it so that our butter doesn't escape. In a pan, we'll put oil and make sure the oil is very hot. Then we'll cut out our freezer bag at the tip, at one end of the tip. And then we squeeze out the butter and with a scissors we cut our butter bit by bit into our hot oil and we fry. Repeat this process until our butter is finished. With a skewer, we'll flip our plantain balls around and fry until the color changes to light brown or golden color. So now our uh, plantain balls is ready. So we want to take it out from the oil and then we we'll continue with the butter till the final butter is fried. So here is our plantain balls or our plantain puff puff try this out guys and please give it a thumbs up if you like the video let's check what it looks like on the inside oh look at that these are the plantain chunks that i was talking about guys this is super super tasty and delicious give this video a thumbs up like and share with your friends and family and please subscribe comment and like thank you very much i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching bye